Hey guys here with another Android video. In this video I want to give you guys a second look of Action Launcher. Why second? Because I already have a video of this launcher that I did like 11 months ago. But there has been a new update. Now this is um, version 2.0. And one of the biggest changes here is that now it has this over here. It has a quick page they're calling it. Uh, which is very cool here. You can put um, um Widgets like you see I got three widgets. This right here is my recent apps and this right here is my Google now uh, Widget right there it takes me right there and here it could go to my dog catcher podcast app or I could go ahead and play it uh, You could replace any widget that you want from here. You could take it out whatever widget you want uh, Like you guys know from over here when you swipe you can see all your apps you can still go to any app by by letter we're gonna go here to V you're gonna see all your V's over here and here you got your widgets uh, from right here the widgets of course you could put your widgets uh, on the screen if you want just like that or you could go ahead and put your widgets over here if you have an empty space of course uh, of course here you can also resize the widgets as well I could go ahead and put that like that and I could go ahead and put a widget right there and there you go now I have a widget there um, here of course um, here over here you got uh, the Play Store shortcut right there very nice very conveniently over here if I tap right here I could go ahead and start talking for it to start searching <laughs> just like that and you could go ahead and ask it anything like that you want there very cool it works very nice uh, but this right here you could go ahead and change it cuz um, for example right here let's go to shortcuts uh, right here where it says action bar search uh, by default it is set to quick search when you choose quick search when you tap here uh, you will be able to search apps that are in your phone like for example if I go like this Boom, I'll, I'll search for an app right there in the phone. It will also search for um, contacts as well. You could do that if you could leave it like that if you want. But my case, I rather have I rather have a Google Voice Search. Of course, you could replace it for Google Now as well. If I click right there, I could go back. And now if I tap right there, it'll take, it'll take me to Google Now which is another cool feature you could do there too. Another uh, cool feature that they added is a feature called shutters. Uh, like you see these apps right here, they have like a little shutter logo or icon below them on the corner right. This one doesn't. What it does is that when you double tap, you can assign like a widget on a, on an app. You see right there? There, I did it. Didn't recognize the double tap. But if I double tap there, like you see right here, I could go ahead to my bookmarks. Um, double tap here, and here I got my calendar. On uh, this, you could change it. For example, you could go ahead here, and if I want to remove or change the widget, I could go ahead and change widget here, and I could choose any widget that I want. For example, if I want to choose the uh, add bat widget, now it will, if I double tap. It will show me the app bat widget uh, but you could change you could put any um, app or widget that you want there uh, now I chose double tap because for me it's easier but by default if you go here you go here um, open cover and shutters by default it's set to vertical swipe you could leave it here vertical swipe and what it is is that when you swipe up you get the widget but the problem is that not every time it recognizes my fingers so that's why I replaced it for up for double tap like you see right there so I just go ahead go here 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 uh, shortcuts here and choose double tap and now I will be able to just double tap and double tap and double tap that's very cool and you could do it to any app that you want doesn't matter you could put any widget to any app which is a very cool feature uh, another cool thing here is let me show you guys here how you do the folders here uh, let's go put this app right here let's go ahead and put this other app right here and let's go ahead and choose another app this up right here if I want to create a folder you just do it the same way you always do like 
put one app over the other. Okay, wait a second. Right, right there. So I got one app over the other, like you see right there. When I open it, you can see your folder normally here. You could go ahead and rename the folder. If you want to see letters um, below the folder right there, like name the folder, you could do that. But one feature that they added is make cover. When you click make cover, what that's going to do is make a cover of the folder. And like you see right there, in this image, there's a little square. That little square means that this is a cover of a folder. So if I double tap, it will show you the folder. If I just tap, it will open the app that's in the cover. Now that's another cool feature that has been added. But of course, if you want to change, let's go back. Let's go back. If you want to double tap and you want to make, for example, the the 3d mark app the default app the cover you go there just that and there you go so now if i double tap i can open the folder if i tap it will open the app that's on the cover now that's very very cool now one cool feature of that is that is this right here that i did with the dialer uh right here in the dialer like you see there's another square right there so that means this dialer is a cover for a folder now how convenient can that be is like this look at that i can have for example my contacts on there as a direct dial for example here i got my phone my wife's phone number and i got dominoes i was going to use this for my video let's go ahead and take it out and like you see if i tap right here i can see the video the my contacts if i just tap once it would just open the dialer. So let me show you guys how you do that. Um, to do that, you have to go to your widgets, go to direct dial. There has to be an app called direct dial or widget. Tap and hold, put it right there on the screen. And from right here, I could go ahead and choose any contact. Uh, in this purpose, I'm gonna choose Bank of America. Right there, I chose Bank of America. So right there, I got that. But if you want to add like an icon, change the icon, you could do that. I could go ahead and choose from my gallery. I already downloaded an image, an icon for that, for the purpose of this video. And I could go in here and choose this Bank of America icon. Let's go ahead and crop it right there. And choose Done. So now I have a direct dial with the icon of Bank of America. If I tap it there, it will automatically start dialing. So that's a very, very cool feature from direct dial. I'll go ahead here. And now all you got to do is put it there just like it was a folder. Now when you double tap, there you go. You got your, your most frequent um, contacts. You could put your favorite contact, your most frequent contacts or your wife's contacts or your family contacts any contact you want you can put it right there and basically that's it that's the only big difference here this wallpaper is from another launcher that i had i can't remember what is it um, you can go ahead and remove any folder that you create um this right here if you want don't want to have that visible right here the shortcuts uh, some people just want to have this only visible for go ahead take that right here and action bar right now i have it to clear you can go ahead and choose none if you choose none it will just not show you the shortcut here and it will not show you the search right there either but if you swipe here you're still gonna see it there see you're still there so you might be good with not showing it because you're still gonna have fast access to it you could do that uh, another thing here you could do is um, by default when you uh, when you install this you're gonna have only four icons here right now I have five all you gotta do to add more you could tap right here tap to display go all the way here where it says dock right here by by default it says four um, here you I got a five but if you want you could go to six if you have a tablet you could go up to 12 that's crazy uh, here I'm gonna go ahead and put six so you guys can see uh, you can also disable the dock if you don't want to have a dock you can also disable it uh, you could add more pages right now I only have 
two pages because that's what I like and you can make whatever page you want as your default page uh, you can also control the grids of your apps let's go ahead here back to home screen now like you see now I got six spaces and I added a block there because I added before I had I had six and I had uh, in this position I had another app there so like you see I have one two three four five apps but I could go ahead and add another app if I want let's go ahead and put on the YouTube app go ahead here hold it and there and voila now I got a YouTube app uh, you also have it this also works in landscape mode as well and it actually looks very good uh, for those asking this um, widget this clock widget is from beautiful widgets HD um, like you see right here it has a very cool um, weather uh, um, app in within the, the widget which is awesome and they're there and this theme right here is um ios theme clock and this is another theme that i can't remember what is it but basically that's it like i said guys um there is a free version you can add uh you can get, go ahead and download and try a free version but this is the pro version i don't know what the free version is missing but like you see right here this is the pro version and I think the pro version is $3.99. I got it on sale for $1.99 when they did the full upgrade to version 2.0. So I got on board on that. I'd say it's a lot better now. It looks a lot better, the, the launcher. And that's the great thing about Android. That's the great thing. I love, I love trying different launchers on my Android phone. And so far, this one actually feels very, very nice. I like how this thing feels Let's go take this out. Let's go ahead and put this a lot bigger. I, li I like having this like that because easily I could just go ahead and swipe to any app that I want. Go like that. I'm gonna tap right there. Is this opening? What? What? Nope. I guess not. <laughs> Let me see. Yep, it's working. But um, one thing, if you clear right here, if you tap and hold and you clear there. It will automatically delete all the apps from there so you will see more apps there as you use other apps you will then see them populating here so guys that's it this was a look at action launcher pro version 2.0 thanks for watching the video guys till next time